Have a fun video you'd like to see featured on NCW Life? Email us at newsphotos at ncwlife.com. It's time for NCW Life News on the NCW Life channel. The latest from the Wenatchee Valley and North Central Washington with Steve Hare, Grant Olson, and sports with Eric Granstrom. Well, good evening and welcome to a special edition of today's NCW Life News. I'm Steve Hare, sitting in for Grant Olson. We're going to switch things up a little bit this afternoon, folks. We have two main stories to share with you today. Our first top story has to do with law enforcement and a change coming next year for the Douglas County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff Harvey Jezdahl made a special announcement today in an exclusive interview on NCW Live News. Well, after 33 years in law enforcement and after three terms as sheriff here in Douglas County, I've decided that next year in 2018, I'm not going to run and I'm going to retire from law enforcement. Retiring from law enforcement entirely? Yes. So why did you make this decision? You know, but then in, at the end of 18, I would have been in the business over 33 years. I'll be almost 60 years old. Um, I guess the best way to, to say it is you just know it's time. Is know. there a burnout factor? I don't think so, because on the last minute, on the last day of my job, I will know I have the best job in the world. But, you know, part of it, too, is, is, is being responsible. I mean, good leaders um, know when it's time for them to leave. Not that they feel they're doing anything bad. It's just time to move on and let someone new come in there and, and take over the helm. And right now, my office is, is running so amazingly well. Um, we're, we're places with staffing and facilities and equipment that we haven't seen in years. Things are going good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I just kind of want uh, the end of my tenure to be, I want to leave it a dead run. Well, Sheriff Jezdal, you've now served three terms in office. During that time span, what do you look at as your major accomplishments with the, with the office that you serve? Well, I really believe personally, I'm a, I'm a people person for lack of a better phrase. Um, I like to feel that I was able to bring the public closer to us and reach out, reach out to them and have them uh, feel comfortable with coming to me. Um, you know, facilities wise, one of our greatest accomplishments was our new evidence building, which is up and running now. And just on the horizon, the new law and justice building, because anybody who's been in our law and justice building now knows it was never designed to do what we're making it do. I know in the summer, and this is like clockwork, the, our upper office where the girls are and the detectives are filled with bees. They get up in the eaves and we and it's just it's just like, you know, it's spring, there's bees in the office. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, bringing people closer, having more out, outreach into the smaller communities, say up in Bridgeport, uh, that's very important to me. Um, just stuff like that. Well, you know, law enforcement really is in a time of transition right now. When you were first elected back in, what, 2011? Yeah. We didn't have the social media element of, uh, of your job right. in terms of disseminating information. How has that changed the dynamic for your office? Well... What we're getting, it's, it's kind of changed the face of crime. A lot of crime starts or is being processed through, like, in the term of like harassment, through mm -hmm. social media. So we're having to do with that. And then to get that type of forensic evidence off electronic device takes new learning, new technology, new hardware. And so that's stuff that has just recently come up, and it's, it's a bugaboo for us. And um, we've entered, entered into a uh, relationship with. Uh, Wenatchee PD, Chelan County, East Wenatchee, to get that specialized equipment and get that specialized training. So if we need to draw something off an electronic device, we're going to be able to do it. You won't be able to hide on your electronic device anymore. No. That's, That's what we're looking for. Uh, Sheriff Jezdal, so what are your plans going forward? Leaving law enforcement? Are you going to be in full retirement or just what are oh, your no, aspirations? No. Um, I will look for another career. Um, I've got a teaching certificate. I've got a master's degree. Um, I can still do a lot of things. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hold still very long. Well, already we're seeing at least one candidate uh, who's uh, at least filed the PDC uh, to run a campaign. You're under sheriff, yeah. Kevin Morris. Kevin uh, Morris. Are you going to be endorsing him? Well, I'll tell you, um, I think Kevin would make an outstanding sheriff. 
not because I see the stuff that he does, which is amazing. All the major projects we've had, um, our new building, um, Lexapol, which is a brand new uh, state-of-the-art um, policy system, uh, AlertSense, which is part of our early warning system, he has a, played an integral part in that. Um, he's intellectual and very motivated and ready to step into the job if he gets it. Um, probably the biggest part, though, is, uh, you know, I'm still a citizen of Douglas County, and I want him, I want to trust him to take care of me and my family. Very good. Sheriff, I'm going to give you the last word. Is there any message you'd like to get out to your uh, constituents and uh, our viewers here on NCW Live? You know, it's funny. If you'd have told me 20 years ago I was going to be a politician, I'd laugh at you. Because I've never been so much as my second grade class treasurer. But when I was over in Iraq the last time in 2003, I remember sitting in my cot and I knew that the previous sheriff down the road was going to retire after his term. And I was thinking about some of the people who might step up to do the job and I kind of rolled it around in my head and I thought, hey, wait a minute, I can do this. And that kind of started my move towards being the sheriff. And I guess what I would say is that um, this is the greatest community in the world. This is an awesome community. The, the people that I have the privilege to live with are, I just can't say enough, I can't, can't show enough gratitude. I mean, the people in Douglas County have treated me and my family very well. Um, I, I will reuse this term because I'm an old sailor, but I believe that at the sheriff's office, we have the best crew on the best ship in the fleet. And when the last day comes, I will say it's been my privilege to be associated with everyone and to serve this community. Well, thank you very much uh, for not just your service as sheriff, but also your service as a military veteran as sure. well. My pleasure. Uh, thanks for joining us here, and uh, I appreciate your sharing the announcement on NCW Live News. Sheriff Harvey Jesdall, thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, man. You bet. Also in the news today, uh, the ski season has arrived. It looks uh, really good in terms of ski conditions and mountain snow. Prospects for more powder in the future. Stevens Pass Mountain Resort opened Thursday to a big crowd. Couldn't be more excited than to be at my happy place at Stevens Pass. Yeah, I'm starting my 50th year skiing Stevens today, so so stoked. <laughs> Definitely that's how it looked uh, today up at Stevens Pass. Mission Ridge Ski and Board Resort also hoping to open early and they've tentatively scheduled to start limited operations this weekend. You can check their website for that official announcement. Coming up, one East Wenatchee family will have a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving holiday. We'll have more on that coming up as NCW Life News continues. Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house featuring great family dining in downtown Chelan. We've got burgers, pub fare, and the best barbecue around. Try one of our award-winning sauces made fresh here in-house. So grab the whole gang and come on down. Stormy Mountain Brewing. Beer, barbecue, friends, and beer. Having a relationship with your pediatrician is so important. Feeling that sense of trust, that is priceless. I tell everybody about CBCH. I love it there. When I make an appointment, I don't have to take an entire day off. As a working mom, my life is really busy. Family time is everything. That's what we all work towards. And I feel like CBCH respects that. It just, it was devastating for my girls to watch my girls go down that path. Not only for myself with the emotions, the depression, um, but it hurt. 
it hurt my girls. And you can do whatever you want to me, but don't hurt my girls. When you hurt my girls, you hurt me. And I am their biggest advocate. I am their mama bear. And nobody's going to hurt my girls ever again. We're on the up and up. And that's where we plan to stay. Cindy Flowers and her two daughters, Heather and Heidi, are well known in the Wenatchee Valley. Cindy, working a full-time job for round-the-clock care of her two daughters. Her caregiver contract, though, with the state was terminated back in July of 2016 after Heather's case manager reported allegations to the Department of Social and Health Services, halting Cindy's only source of income for the family. The allegations were ultimately appealed, but Flowers says she feels the state is still working from the old allegations setting up roadblocks, slowing the process to restore care. As of May 22nd, I got my job back for Heather, and uh, they have changed a lot of the rules on me uh, since the uh, APS investigation, even though it had been dismissed. Uh, Heather no longer qualified for caregiving uh, with just having her spina bifida and multiple other diagnoses. They were now requiring an IQ test and I had asked for them to pay for it and they would not pay for her to have an IQ test. It was $500 out of my pocket. Um, I told them I did not have uh, any financial means to take care of that and so I fought it until uh, they fired me from my job October 1st. We had a case manager come out and uh, I did get my job back for both the girls about three weeks ago. Um, it's been a long time of just fighting, and they just seem to come up with different things to delay me from getting my job back. Besides the financial nightmare, Flowers said she's also lost trust in the system. Uh, I went forward with filing bankruptcy with an attorney here in town, uh, which took us to Moses Lake because they do not do the bankruptcies any longer in our county. Uh, bankruptcies completely over with. We lived on food stamps and a little bit of the public with our GoFundMe page. Uh, we nearly lost our house. Uh, it could have went into foreclosure, but we were able to avoid that. You know, I've learned that there's a big difference between a mother taking care of her daughters and a state paid caregiver taking care of state clients. There's a big difference there. I've also learned not to trust uh, DSHS, aging and adult care, developmental disabilities. It's really hard to trust uh, the state. So what's Heather's perspective on having to take an IQ test and watch her family go through the investigation? Stupid. <laughs> they make you think you're dumb, and it just doesn't make you feel very well. I think it's horrible. I mean, it hurts, and I'm just glad it's done, and I couldn't be more happy. Flowers said this holiday season, though, will be a special one for her family's household. Thanksgiving's coming just around the corner. You still see our Christmas tree where time stood still last year. And this will be uh, such a good Christmas. We've got a lot to be thankful for. As far as what's next, Flowers said she's working with an attorney to take possible legal action against the state's Adult Protective Services for wrongful investigation. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. Hi everyone, Brent Crowder here at Town Nissan. Come on down to Town Nissan and help us celebrate the best-selling SUV in America today, the 2017 Nissan Rogue. 
along with its big brother, the Nissan Murano, and the beautiful Maxima, and the all-new Nissan Titan, and the all-new Nissan Armada. Come down and see us and see why we are the fastest growing car company in America today. Come down and see us at Town Nissan behind Costco in East Wenatchee. Bay Equity Home Loans in Wenatchee, serving all of North Central Washington. We make it our priority to learn all about your financial needs. Whether you're buying your first home, refinancing, or want a reverse mortgage, our mortgage professionals are ready to guide you through the loan process. We have a wide variety of loan products to fit your family's needs. Call Bay Equity Home Loans of Wenatchee today for your pre approval. 509 888 0466. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Live Channel. And a happy finally Friday. Let's take a look at what's happening as far as high school football is concerned. If you want to get your fix, there's still a game this weekend in the Apple Bowl. Let's take a look at the prep football playoff schedule. First, the only nearby team still alive, Elmira Cooley Heartline. They're in the state 1B quarterfinals tomorrow at 1 o'clock against Nacelle at Monticello High School. Clubby Basin Big Nine's Richland Bombers are very much still alive. They're in the state 4A quarterfinals tomorrow at Gonzaga Prep at 1 o'clock. Then, here closer to home, it's a great matchup of state 1A powerhouse programs as the Royal Knights take on the Okanagan Bulldogs in the Apple Bowl. Kickoff is slated for 4 o'clock. Of course, attention, of course, squarely on the state soccer final four today and tomorrow. The Cascade Kodiaks will play for the state 1A championship tomorrow at 2 o'clock after a 2-0 win over LaSalle today in the semifinals. Let's go to the highlights thanks to our friends at the National Federation of High Schools Networks. That ball won back by Musket. Musket going through here. This ball falling through for Richardson. Has Parton to her left. Plays it through oh. for her partner inside the box here. She's one on one. She shoots. She yeah. scored. Ashley Parton on the through ball from Lauren Richardson has put the Cascade Leavenworth Kodiaks on top 1 0 with 14.53 to play in the first half. Ashley Parton picks it up. Six defenders around her and no support. Here comes Ashley Parton into the box. Past her final defender. She'll send one toward oh. goal. It's wide right of the net. McCray and Fiscus over the ball. Five players in the wall. Fiscus toward goal into the wall, takes a deflection. McCray gives chase. Headed down by Brennan and knocked clear. Richardson, four in the wall, toward goal, curls it, store, stops it. Bounced up in her hands momentarily, but it came back right to them. Emily Gaines going one-on-one. -on -one. Gaines might be through here. Pulls it back to her left side, has help arriving. Lays it off for Parton, who's one-on-one, -on -one. and Parton makes Ugh. it 2-0. That's the winner, Shirley. Ashley Parton caught up. Emily Gaines putting in a lot of work on that run down the right side. In the end, the easy tap-in. A brace for Ashley Parton, and it looks for all intents and purposes, though the Cascade Kodiaks are going to come away with the W here in the semis. And they did, thanks to Ashley Parton's two goals. Kodiaks will play the winner of tonight's Kings and Seattle Academy game for the state championship tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Brewster, meanwhile, took on St. George's in the 1B-2B tournament today and were a, a loser. 2-1 to one the final. It was a tight game, went down to the stretch. They'll try to rebound for third and fourth place tomorrow at uh, Sunset uh, Shib Stadium. The Wenatchee Wild are on the road for a three-game series in B.C. this weekend. The Wild play at Coquitlam tonight, Langley tomorrow, and then Surrey on Sunday. Coach and General Manager Bliss Littler says it's important not to look past the opener of this three-game set. Uh, Coquitlam, they jumped up and they got us the one time last year. Uh, they, we weren't prepared. And, um, we know going into their building that they're a much improved team from, from, from a year ago. Uh, and we only play these teams twice. You know, they're out of division, and, and you want to win the series with everybody. And, uh, and we, we want to get off, uh, get this road trip off on the right foot. That um, we know it's a, it's a smaller building, and um, you know we need to be ready to play there. I know that a lot of guys are probably looking forward to getting into Langley. That uh, Langley was one of our better rivals uh, the past couple of years, so. I know sometimes when you're looking at Langley, you don't want to overlook anybody, and um, our job this week is to make sure that we don't do that. Finally, in college football, Eastern Washington plays host to Portland State tomorrow at 3.05. Washington, another night game on the Montlake Cut. Utah in town at 7.30. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Granstrom on the NCW Life Channel. Steve, back to you. Thanks a lot, Eric. We now turn to our feature report of the day. Our friends at North Forty Productions in Wenatchee have done it again. 
Our feature today is their treatment on a promotion for the Festival of Trees raffle to support the Numerica Performing Arts Center. Alex oh. Haley. Hey, Mark. How are you? Doing well, yeah. doing well. You look totally transformed. Thanks. What's changed? Well, you know how my life has just been one disaster after another? Oh, yeah. So, I had a vision. I feel like I have purpose again, you know? I know what I need to be successful. A job? Mm, besides that. Ambition. What does every successful person have that I don't? Oh, talent. Well, a hot tub. Yeah, Nicolas Cage has a hot tub. Oh. Beyonce has a hot tub. Mark Cuban probably has like 12 hot tubs. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, how are you gonna get a hot tub? You gonna buy a hot tub? No, those things are valued at like $6,700, so I'm not gonna buy a hot tub. Oh, gonna you're gonna steal a hot tub? I did think of that, but they're like seven by seven feet, and that's not even counting the stairs. Seven by seven feet? That's huge. Yeah, you can fit like seven adults in one of those things. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, how are, you, how are you gonna get a hot tub? I'm gonna win it. You're gonna win it? I'm going to win it. You're gonna win it? I'm gonna win it. You're gonna win it? I'm gonna win it. You're gonna win it? You're gonna I'm win gonna it. I'm gonna win it, yes. I'm gonna win it. Well, how are you gonna win this hot tub? There's a raffle for the Numerica Festival of Trees at the Numerica Performing Arts Center. Okay, what's that? It's a credit union that loves trees. Mm -hmm. But, get this, tickets are only five bucks a piece. Oh, seriously? Mm -hmm. Well, you could definitely, probably, afford that. Yeah, five bucks for an entire hot tub? That's like 14 cents per jet. Mm -hmm. And there's a waterfall. No way, there's a waterfall? Yeah. I'm going to own my own waterfall like I'm in an Herbal Essence shampoo commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how many tickets can you buy? You can buy as many as you want. I sold everything I own. My bike, my dad's car, a couple DVDs. I'm not leaving anything to chance on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alex Haley. Yeah. Hot tub boner. Yeah. Huh. This could really change things for me. Yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> Save me a seat, huh? <laughs> I'll save you six. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, yeah. Oh, Mark, real quick, could I get a ride? I sold my bike. Great job by North 40 Productions, by the way. The Festival of the Trees continues this weekend. The Holiday Spice is tonight, starting at 7 o'clock. Little Black Dress Party also tonight at 7.30 in the Wenatchee Convention Center. The dinner and live auction is tomorrow starting at 5 o'clock in the Center Ballroom. You can go to Wenatchee Festival of Trees for more information. We'll be right back in just a moment with a recap of our top stories of the day and your complete local weather forecast as NCW Life Evening News continues for this Friday. So, how are you guys doing? My job starts in Portland in a month. Mm. Can we find a buyer that fast? I think we're good. Our CBX app tells us who the best potential buyers are. We can pinpoint where the hottest prospects are located, right on this map. Mm. Two cities over. It even lets us set the most accurate price. Wow, it really does all that. It really does all that. <laughs> well, help us pack? <laughs> we're working on that. Travel enhances your life in every way. Let the travel professionals at Journey Travel and Tours help you plan that dream vacation. Don't leave the important details to those nameless, faceless online agencies. At Journey Travel and Tours, our goal is to build relationships that last a lifetime. And when you do need help, we have a 24-hour helpline that is routed to one of the agents in our office. When you think travel, think Journey Travel and Tours. It's where your journey begins. Like us on Facebook and you could be one of our monthly winners. Is this really what we're gonna do on our girls' night out? We should go to Club Crow. The bar and grill in Cashmere? Yeah, let's go. Looking for a fun-filled, friendly hometown atmosphere? Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is the place to be. Hi, this is Justin. Here at Club Crow, we have full bar and restaurant, live music, a dance floor, pool tables, pull tabs, and live jam sessions the first Sunday of every month. Club Crow in Cashmere, the coolest place in town.
Welcome back to NCW Live Evening News. Again, I'm Steve Harris, sitting in for Grant Olson. Recapping our top two stories of the day, Douglas County Sheriff Harvey Jezdal has announced he will not seek re-election next year. He's leaving law enforcement after serving three terms as sheriff. Jezdal's under-sheriff, Kevin Morris, is planning to run for the vacant seat and uh, has filed papers with the Washington State Public Disclosure Commission, which is the first step towards starting a campaign fundraising drive. We'll be talking to Morris next week. Also, the ski season has arrived. It looks like a good start in terms of mountain snow conditions and uh, the prospects for more powder in the future is certainly there. Stevens Pass Mountain Resort opened Thursday to a big crowd. Here's how it looked. All around. Oh, yeah. Couldn't be more excited than to be at my happy place at Stevens Pass. Yeah, I'm starting my 50th year skiing Stevens today, so so stoked. <laughs> And they'll possibly be hitting the slopes at Mission Ridge Ski and Board Resort this weekend. They're tentatively scheduled to early start this year, this weekend. In fact, you can check their website for that official announcement. And now your weather forecast for north central Washington. And again, a continuation of what we've been looking at here over the past uh, couple of weeks, really. No real change. Continued cloudy weather. You'll see some sun breaks uh, during that time. But uh, pretty consistent temperatures with mid to upper 40 degree highs over the next uh, three to five days. Overnight lows dipping into the mid to upper 30s. Now the next real chance of measurable rain could happen next week. Early next week there's about a 50% chance of rain for Tuesday going into Wednesday. So that's your best likelihood of measurable rain. For the most part though it's going to be cool, cloudy, a little bit of sunshine, but for the most part cool and very fall-like weather conditions here in north central Washington over the next few days. Well, in our video of the day, we find a bear who seems to be celebrating the fact that he just ripped apart someone's watering system when he, well, has a little accident. Ooh, I don't care who you are, that hurts. <laughs> and that's going to do it for all of us here at NCW Life. That's our newscast. For more on these stories and other news from around north central Washington, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, you can also uh, check out our website uh, for more information. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can do it in a number of ways. You can do it by email at our address, news at ncwlife.com, or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Steve Hare, and go out and have a great weekend. This has been NCW Life News on the NCW Life channel. For more news, log on to ncwlife.com, like us on Facebook, and follow NCW Life channel on Twitter.